guys, what's going on? It's TMJ in the USA, season four, episode 12, Big Swole. You sure it's episode 12? It's episode 12, baby. Are you sure you didn't miscount that shit? No, I just uploaded episode 11 to deal up the cutting specials like four you. hours ago. It's so, fresh. So that, does that it's mean fresh in my this mind. Is like day 12? Yes, so correct. So we've been here for 12 days. This is correct. We've been here, so 11 nights. This is... Uh, is that well, right? it depends. It depends with the with the time change, with the with the flying and shit. No, how many times have we slept? <sighs> oh, not 11? enough. Not enough. So we've slept for not like four, enough. Like Forty hours. Yeah, in some like shit. In twelve days. Some shit like that. We are here in Brooklyn, getting this low intensity, steady state morning cardio in. Now we were just talking big swell because you got up this morning. And you starting, it's taken 12 days, but you're starting to feel the heat a little bit. Yeah, so... It, and it you was, said... It was yesterday, I was actually starting... Cardio. I, today was the first day I didn't want to do this shit. <laughs> I want some more sleep. But I said to you, I made a very good point. I said, if it wasn't for the, for the getting up at like 5 a.m. and doing the early morning cardio... It's just after 5 a.m., by the way, in case you guys are wondering. That's why it's still dark outside. If it wasn't for this every day... We'd barely get to see the places that, the we places that we've been because yeah. we're like in planes, in uh, cars, training inside. We get to see the inside of a gym. Like for six hours yesterday. And then we, we leave. Yeah. So this is really like the only chance we get to really experience a lot of these places we're going. Yeah. So it's twofold because not only are you getting shredded, yeah, I don't need to do that. <laughs> but you actually also get to see the cities that we've, that we've gone to. Yeah. So, there you go. So we're out here. We're going to put in 45 minutes to an hour this morning. 45. 45. Yeah, yeah, 45 minutes of this low intensity, steady state cardio. And then we are off to... We are, what, down here? Yeah, down here. Down here in the cellar. Shit. And then we're off to Chi-Town today, baby. Chicago spending some time with our good friends Optimum Nutrition going in search of the elusive Optimum Nutrition fat burner. I still don't think I'm gonna find it. <laughs> We're gonna go see what's up. It's gonna be a good day. As always you guys are here for one hell of a ride and you're coming along for that ride. Let's go. Oh man, we walked all the way to Barclays Center. It's around the corner. This is nice. This is pretty new, right? Yeah. This is like a new arena. Yeah, it's pretty. This is a nice looking arena. This is real nice. This is where um, Jay Z's team plays. Yeah. The Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. This he picked he 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 picked the basketball team up from New Jersey and dropped them in Brooklyn. Smart. Who wants to go to Jersey? Yeah. Oh man, look, you can see the inside from here. Hold on, I'm gonna get some zoom. Look at this. Look at this. That's nice. Yeah. It like it. It doesn't. Um. You know how most stadiums go like from ground level up. Yeah. No. They, this they, seems these to ones, go, This seems to go like in. Madison Square is the same, man. Yeah. Madison Square is actually in the ground. It's like dug into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. That's so amazing. you're actually. It's pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah. They know how to do arenas here, man. Yeah. Well, I guess when you got You've this. Done well, a thousand of them. When you got this many people in such a small area, yeah. Um, well, I mean, obviously you can always go up, yeah. But maybe I don't know. Maybe they can't go as high as they like. Because this is this is smack bang in the middle of the city. This yeah. arena. This is not like out in the bush sort of thing. Know, Where do like, people park? I have no. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably Actually, the next question. That's, that's a question for all of. Where do people park? Because there's on street parking and that's really it. Yeah. You know, so that's why the subway system, like you see these it's everywhere and the subway. Oh, this is, yeah, this, this goes straight down. Well, we were just walking before um, down 4th Avenue, Brooklyn. Yeah. And yeah. like there's traffic, there's not that much traffic. And next minute it sounded like it was a tornado coming. You were a thunderstorm. Yeah. And, and uh, I said to you, I said, man, what the hell is that? And you're like, there's a subway grate in the middle of the road. That's the train underneath us. Yeah, there's, there's, a, city, there's a city below a city. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Anyway, Barclays Arena. There you go, guys. Check it. It's actually like pretty cool with those lights. 
It looks like, it looks like, yeah, it looks, it looks like a yeah. spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. Have a full noise, let's why, just wake everybody up. Why is it anywhere we go, no matter what city, what time of day, there's always some kind of emergency services fucking following oh. us around? Well, I just can't believe how fucking loud they are. Are they all talking to each other? I think so. Here come the Australians again. <laughs> oh, look, hang on, we've got one for 400. Thinking of buying a house in Brooklyn, Big Small? Not now. Can you give us some prices? Alright, so it depends how many bedrooms and shit you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're going here for like six bedrooms, three bathrooms. That's big, man. You can't actually keep a car there. It's got a pool, 1.6. Give, give me like a give me like a standard, like, you know, three bedroom, two bathroom. Well, I think they're not all, they're more. They're more oh, here you go, here you go, here's a car. Oh, yeah. Let's two, so two bedroom, two bathroom, one car, 1.3 million. With a stucco. US dollars. Yeah, US dollars, $1.3. Here's one, nine fifty, So a million US dollars. This, which right. is like one point, what, three million Australian? Yeah, thereabouts. Shit. Oh, here we go. Five million, oh, that's a mansion. That's seven bedroom. That's big though, look at that. That's like a, that's, that's like a hotel room park. That's like a hotel complex. Once again, zero car parks. That's Williamsburg. Oh. Isn't that in Virginia? No. No? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I'm, not, I'm just talking shit now. Well, it's actually, anyway, it's it's actually the, man, like 4th yeah. Avenue. It's where we are now. Oh, there you go. For 5 mil. No, so, that's the address of the real estate agency. That's right. That's where we are right there now. There you go. Shit. Whoops. Remax. Real estate. Anyway, the point of this is to show you guys it's expensive as shit to live in New York. Yeah. Check out the breakfast gains. Egg white omelette about to go down. Some berries, some fruit, toasted whole wheat bagel up in here, man. And Big Swole, once again, lucked out with a coffee. Got myself a macchiato. Shit, where's your food at? I don't know, man, you didn't order for me. Did you order that Piece shit yet? Shit. You ordered that shit yet? Whatever, mate. Well, I would have ordered for you, but yeah, we had to use this iPad thing. It's like everything, it's, it's actually pretty cool. You go in here, well, I, I don't know where it's gone now, but yeah, like we didn't even speak to a waiter. Yeah, no. Just ordered straight off this, pay right there. It's like completely automated. Yeah. Send it straight to the kitchen and lie. boom. Five minutes later, food arrives. I'm hungry as shit, so I ain't even gonna wait. No, you don't wait. I'm gonna be Let's a rude bastard it. and smash it. it. Alright. Well there you go. Two seconds later. You really think I'm waiting to vlog this shit? You got the same thing as me. Come on. Boom. Enjoy. Off to Chicago. We got that exit road hook up again, yeah, flying Delta. Man, we, we just should, we just should fly Delta everywhere. Yeah, Millie, really take note. Yeah, uh, flying Delta everywhere. Delta, Delta or Virgin America. Yeah, we gotta keep it real with our Virgin. Because flight. if we you don't, know, if we don't, we fly like American, which we have one. We have. Yeah. You gotta pay like 120 dollars each just for bags. Just for bags, and then we don't get no proof, no no exit roads. We, we jump on. We jump on Delta. We're like, what is it? It's good. So we right here. Do you have a blind this time? No? Not at all. No blind. Zero, zero, zero blind, blind action on this flight. No uh, blind. Hey man, look, you can't win them all. all right. Dude, I'll put my sunglasses on. Let's go to Chicago. Let's go. Now this is service. This is service, Big Swole. Look at this. Bags all ready for us off the carousel as we walk off the plane. That's why we got to fly this Delta, man. That's why we got to fly. Well, we need to talk to the person that books it, don't we? Yeah, well, we do. Millie, Take shit. Note. Again. Shit. Taking note. Shit. Again. Anyway, we landed in Chicago. About to head to Optimal Nutrition Headquarters. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Hertz come through with the goods on this one. Yeah. Look at this nice little upgrade yeah. we got our hands on. Brand new Audi. I'll take it. We're, we're not driving that much in Chicago, but I'll still take it. But we can still go in style. We've got a sunroof and everything. Oh, is that a sunroof? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Well, it's a nice day too. 
We're gonna make the most out of this. When in town, windows down, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we are. Optimum Nutrition Headquarters, Big Swall. In the lobby. You just had to sign in through big security. Ass lobby. You know what this means? It means somewhere through those doors, up those elevators, mm. is the Optimum Nutrition Fat Burner. I don't believe it. <laughs> We're in. We're here. Past security. We made it. They actually let us in. Big picture of Steve Cook right here as you walk in. Get some squats. Now, just a quick, so a quick explanation for, for a lot of you may not know. So, Optimum Nutrition and BSN and a bunch of other brands as well are yep. owned by like a parent company. Parent company and is that, the best way to put it. The parent company is called Glambia Performance Nutrition. So this is technically speaking, so it's the Optimum Nutrition Headquarters. Well, if you want to look it's, at like the seven brands, yeah, actually this is this, oh, is, the well, there you go. this is the vending machine. There you machine. go, there you go. This is the biggest vending machine you're ever going to see in your Optimum, life. Optimum, but... BSN, Isopure, ABB, and then some brands that we don't even have in Australia yeah, yet. Yeah. But so that's the that's the brands. that's the that's the full spectrum. And this is actually this is pretty cool. So this, this is, is a vending machine. This is a vending. Let's touch to begin. Let's check this shit out. Let's check it. Let's check it. Uh, let's get proteins. What do you want? What do you want? What I want to get. I want to get a big thing. What gains are you going to purchase right here? So we can actually get. Ooh, cake donut. Yeah, grab one of them. Grab a gold standard way cake donut. Boom. Three available. There's three in here. Por que, por que no los tres? <laughs> so what else they got? They got this, we need, we yeah. need pretty work. So this vending machine is pretty cool as you come straight in so that you can purchase like full size anything. Yeah. Glambia, yeah. And then so just over here as you walk in, reception desk down here. Uh, nice little, I don't know, staircase thing. This, yeah, and then, okay, so here you go. So this is, this is a little bit better. So BSN obviously is a Glambia brand and then Optimum. ISO Pure, ABB, so a bunch of the brands right here. So let's go. Let's go. Let's in. go check it out. Bit of a bit, bit of a bit of a quick uh, quick squeeze in here. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned to you guys the reception. Now they've actually got two levels in yep. this building, so we're on level 12 at the moment. Downstairs, which is like down this staircase here, is level 11, which is like the full marketing department. Yep. And then this up here is like marketing and regulatory and all that jazz and oh look at sean what's up sean stafford how are you doing i'm just about to meet you guys oh really and we're gonna punish i think chest which is bad news yeah yeah these guys have caught me after filming for two days so yeah. yeah we were sort of hoping so we've got we've got the we've got the advantage we've got the advantage we've got the advantage on this one upper hand yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is cool here. This is uh, the the wall of fame yeah. for uh, well ABB down the bottom, BSN in the middle, and Optimum at the top. And you can see that there's years here. So 2050, 2005, 1985, 1987, and it goes along the whole wall. So these and it's, are the ads that they've run in like since they started. Yeah, all the magazine ads. So like for me, this is pretty cool because I started Massive Joe's in 2005, when which is when these, these were like around. these ads, that was actually the first tub of NO Explode that I ever sold at Massive Joe's. Most of you would have no recollection of that whatsoever. The holographic label with the uh, the yellow lid. Yeah. So this is cool. You still, do you remember the, this Ronnie like curling at 100 Of kilos? course, man, who of does, course. Who, forget, who doesn't forget this? this of so course. Cool. So come along here, you can see when it's actually pretty cool to see like when I'm with the different athletes we're with, yep. Yep. you know, the different brands. Forrest Griffin, when he joined BSM, Brandon Curry, Dennis, Dennis. Wolf, Julian Grow was in there, Ruley, when Ruley came on board with BSN, Forrest again, and then up top, of course, you got all the ON guys. It's very, very cool. Yeah. Amanda Latona, when she was back with BSN. Oh, who's this guy? We know him. Dallas, when Dallas was with BSN? That wasn't too long ago. Yeah. We're moving along. Champions, India yeah. Paulino, when she joined. Flex, of course, Flex Lewis, our boy. Very, very cool. Very cool. I like that, that is epic. And it's yeah. it's long as shit as it's well. It's huge, <laughs> they, they need to extend it though. Well, they're, they're running out of space. Yeah, they need to get Because they get like, you need to add this wall here. So. We're just going to walk through here now. We have got uh, a bunch of meetings with different people from Optimum and, and BSN, BSN yep. uh, over the next three-ish hours. And then we're going to go check out the, uh, the, the production, production facility. Yeah, the, uh, pretty cool. the protein production facility. 
and uh, and then as you sure saw just Sean just there we're going to go train some chess with Sean Stafford yep. um, after all of our meetings and after our tour but for now we're heading into the NO they spelt it wrong <laughs> They must be, oh yeah. shit! There we go. There we go. That's hey, at least they don't get their labels wrong. The <laughs> NO Explode Room. Let's duck on in here. Let's get these meetings underway. All right. So after just over three hours at the uh, Glambia Optimum Nutrition and BSN headquarters, office headquarters, we have arrived here. It's about a half an hour drive away at the protein manufacturing facility for Optimum and BSN. It's like a, a little shed. So this is where the, uh, mixes in I wouldn't go so far as to call it a <laughs> shed, I'd go so far as to call it uh, 600,000 square feet or 60 square meters of... of 60,000 uh, square meters. 60,000 square meters, sorry, for those of you that didn't already do the, the, uh, the conversion from the Imperial to metric yeah, of, uh, big, man. Of, of protein manufacturing. Yeah. So we're here with Vinny. That's Vinny cool. is going to give us a tour. Let's go. All right. Oh, well, thank you, sir. No problem. Why are we doing that for you again? <laughs> just, just for the TMJ in the USA. Yeah. It's very quiet. That sounds very productive. You gotta whisper. You do. This is pretty cool across here, Spot. Yeah, the top above all the, uh, the office cubicles, mm -hmm. a bunch of the ads for the different products. Can you tell me about? Very, very cool. All the way through the whole building. It's actually a pretty cool, like the office part of this building yeah. is pretty cool no, as well, awesome. right? <laughs> all right, step one, put your prison pants on. How do you know I've been to <laughs> Because you're doing this way, like you're way too comfortable. Yeah. Way too comfortable. Are you gonna take my shoelaces out as well? <laughs> Big twelve. Yeah. You have a toy funny. Uh, no, no, I don't think my pants are very tight I at all. I can see by your toy pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool though. All throughout this building are these uh, these sayings like this. World's leading protein, ownership, I make a difference, quality is my passion, find a better way. You do get a real cool feeling of uh, the, the brand pride, there you go, around the corner, of the, uh, the pride that's taken with the quality control in here. Yeah, hey. pajamas. You got the pajamas. We've got the coats I'm on going, now going, as well. I'm going Spanish, and just doing it at the top button, and yeah. leave the rest on those. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just roll like that. I'm gonna chuck mine on as well. Right. I feel like I'm about to rob a bank. My body is ready. <laughs> this I is crazy. You should rub a bank. This is actually crazy. Yeah. What happens here, Vinny? So, right. So this is the entrance in. This is where we're going to get washed up and scrubbed up. Yeah. Um, and this is where we'll basically communicate to all the employees coming in, how we're doing today, what our targets are, and then finally entering the floor as a safety message. Just remind people to be safe, but you get an idea of the scale of this building and the operation that goes on just as you walk out onto the floor. Let's do it. All right, let's wash up. We got soap. Mm -hmm. and a little bit of soap. And a little bit of water. Again, it's all no touch. And then shave it out. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. All right, so after washing, yep. we hand sanitize. We're all covered up. And now, finally, we're ready to go. All right. Let's go. So this is an example of some of the products we make. Um, this is the current layout of the building as stands. We can say warehousing on the east side, operations in the center, and more warehousing on the left-hand side. Um, again, a range of the products that we make and potential future plan. Oh, future plan. Uh oh. It's very cool. Alright? Very cool. So we're gonna start off and move to the East Warehouse. Not much stock. 
All right, so we just walked into the, is this east or west, Vinny? This is the east side. This is the east side raw, warehouse. Raw materials warehouse. This is the raw materials warehouse. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Wow or way? Way. <laughs> way, 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 a lot of stock. How much does it smell like protein in here? Yeah. It smells like I've just opened a massive tub of gold standard whey. Yeah. That is just crazy. Shit. It just keeps going and going and going. Picking process down here as well. Keeping it legit, keeping it 100. All right, so now we're gonna head into the quality control room. Uh, and if you thought that we had enough quarantine material on, well, now we've got to quarantine again. So we're doubling up on the booties. Just as a double check, we're throwing some gloves on. Just as a triple check. Hi. How clean are you feeling? I right am now? feeling very clean. Clean? Clean. Very you look clean. clean. I feel clean. <laughs> Gloves are on. Let's go inside. It was milk chocolate. Had to be milk. Extreme milk chocolate. Yeah. You smell that shit? You can smell it. Mmm. All the ingredients that are picked, forklifted up outside, coming through the roller door, and then they're all sectioned out and we put them through the screener. See. So it's just like a massive sift, right? It's a massive, massive sift. Yeah. Mm. And then any powder that goes through this mm -hmm. falls across some magnets, um, and then goes into a big massive MC. Yeah. And after that, it's sealed. So this is, in theory, when the product is most at risk. Yeah. And this is where you're managed, and we manage the people. Yeah. Once it's through that screen, it's safe. It's locked away. And it's not handled for the rest of the process. Right. Okay. So basically, the last time someone actually handled it with their hand. It's a bag to there, yeah. and that's it. That's it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go out on top. Bird's eye view. So this is Vinny, this is all basically product that's getting ready to come up here, or? Um, yeah, pretty much. Anything that's in the totes, the big totes, yep. ready to go, ready to be blended. So that product that we were talking about a minute ago, yep. that goes through that massive sift, goes into one of those, and then it's ready to go it's ready to into go production. Yeah, yep, into production. That's what we're going to head next. Yep. Into blend. Yeah, so they, don't, they don't mix up much protein here, do they? No. Just a few hundred units. Yeah. Every, every, every now and again. Just a small run. Wow. So this is a pretty good illustration of what we're wearing right now. Hat, glasses, bodysuit, pants, gloves, booties, and we ain't got no tools. Yeah. Alright, so this right here is 100% whey gold standard chocolate stand stand next to it like that that's a lot of protein <laughs> shit and in this room they're blending up some 100% whey gold standard french vanilla cream gluten free got a bit of an allergen profile on there as well It's all happening. All right, now we're going to the blending stage where all of that raw material in there comes over here. Are those blank tubs there, Vinny? Yeah, these those are bottles, blank tubs there, right? The bottles waiting for packaging. Yeah, bottles yeah. waiting. And it all gets blended and put into the bottles. Let's go check it out. Another high care area in here. What are they making in this one? Gold standard weight, double rich chocolate again. And 30 minutes and then 7,000 pounds of power. Yeah. Woo. 
That's a big blender. Yeah. Look at that thing. Yeah, so Vinny was just saying those, uh, those silver totes, the big containers that are full of product. Yeah, yeah. Get put, obviously, in here, put on top, thrown down into the blender, blend it up. Yeah. So and no, no one actually in here operating it. Give us some numbers on this, Vinny. What's, uh, what sort um, of production capacity? 300 cubic foot blender. Yeah. Uh, again, depending on bulk density, anywhere from 6,000 to 10,000 pounds of powder in a batch. Um, and then, I don't know, we may do 20, 30 batches a day. Wow. 20 to 30 batches a day. Wow. You got. You guys do the maths on that one. Yeah, no shit. And then divide that by five pounds and that gets you the number of tubs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the not here. All right, so that in there is the final step of blending. So actually creating like mass amounts of the final products. And now we come on in through here and we get to see how that final blended mass amount of product ends up in five pounds help. Let's check it out. Yep. Before every bottle gets in the room, it's all loose out with the iron ice out right there. And we into this watery pillow. So it's watery back in the pillow. This is the bottle that's being filled right now. So once they come down, they're full, right? Yes, they are. Yeah. Dude. Tubs are just getting done in the like minute that we've been here. It's so fast. It's just ridiculous. So fast. So if you had to put a number on how many, like say if we look at like your gold standard tubs that we've got now, how many tubs could you actually like produce in a day? I don't know. Um, that's a lot. Okay, uh, that's a lot then. Yeah, the campaigns are the campaigns can be long. So yeah. It depends how long is a piece of string. Yeah. It'll run anywhere from in this particular bottle. It'll run at about 50 bottles a minute. Wow. So 55 pound bottles a minute. So that's a, that's a, it's a bottle a second, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. How many so seconds? 3, seconds? That'd be 3,600 in an so hour. If you times that by 24. If you had the raw material. 104,000 or something? I don't know. We shouldn't be doing the math. We've gone to the calculator. Yeah. You know it's a big number when you go to the calculator. Yeah. So what do we say? 60 by 60 by 24. Okay, right. 60 multiplied by 60 dollars a minute equals yeah multiplied by 24 hours equals 86,400. Five pound bottle. Woo! Wow. And does this does this yeah, run does this run 24 hours? Uh, this line does. Yeah. It does. Wow. 24 hours, 365. That's just crazy. So this it's not a 365. I've noticed with all of these um, processes, this is pretty cool. It always starts with the cheeky bicep flex. See that? Start is always a flex. Why wouldn't you start with a flex? <laughs> and then you and then you get into the work.
this chocolate factory yeah. for games. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, just to make sure, all of our product is X-rayed and then metal detected. So, again, ensure and guarantee the quality of our powder. That X-ray and metal detected on a sealed container. So now we're kind of guaranteeing and standing behind our yeah. product. This is almost the final step down here. Labels go on to the blank tubs. Pass through here. They get boxed up. They've even got a machine that actually builds boxes. How cool is this? Look at this. Flat pack boxes go in. <laughs> they get built by machines. They get filled with the tubs of whey. Sent up there onto pallets and off they go. Like when you buy like a Ferrari and it's and got like the signature yeah, of the, yeah. the person that built the engine. Yeah. So Steve, just for the record mate, you can't open this up, <laughs> alright? Oh, there it is. Signed, sealed, delivered. Straight from the Optimum that. Nutrition Four. Factory. This one's going straight to the trophy cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, this is where the finished product leaves Optimum Nutrition's warehouse for dispatch. This is just ridiculous. Gains. Leaning tower of gains. And then finally, as we exit the building, more of these company motivational statements. I love this sort of shit, man. This is awesome. Very, very cool. Very cool culture. I'm impressed. I, I, I I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit lost. I for don't words. usually find myself lost for words, but that no, is just. No, you can just talk underwater like, with a mouthful of marbles. But yeah, the scale of this place is just like. You can't comprehend it. It's not, well. It's not. It's not just the scale because I've been into like factories, you know, similar similar size that are doing similar quantities before. But the balance of quality control to scale of manufacturing is what really kind of impresses me. It's like everything down to an down to a point. Yeah. The, you know the fact that they they metal detect the product, they magnetize the product, they, they X-ray the product, they X-ray the product, they blow bloody. Um, Oh, it, yeah, it, it's, it's phenomenal. It, and there, there is absolutely no room for mm. error there. Like you, you it's, it'd be very, very difficult to make 
a mistake. The product is, you know, is very rarely handled by human hands. In um, fact, it's all machines. Well, you know, I saw it, yeah. But like most of it is, is machines. They yeah. run that whole production facility. You saw how many tubs are going out of that place with 75 people per yeah, shift. Yeah, it's totally. ridiculous. It's just phenomenal. It's, uh, it's very, very impressive. So oh, very <laughs> I impressive. hope you guys are as, as, you know, obviously it's difficult seeing it in a video to seeing it in person, but I hope you guys are as impressed, if not as blown away as we are with that. Mm. Uh, with that, that's just crazy. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, Shit. beyond words. All right, back to the head office. We're about to go get ourselves some games, baby. Oh yeah. All right, we're all changed. Pre-workout gear in, optimum nutrition, training shirt. We're ready to get it on, man. We're training some chess with Sean Stafford here at the Optimum Nutrition Gym. Like, this is legit the gym inside the Optimum Nutrition Glambia headquarters, and here he is. Downtown. The man. Chicago, here we well, go. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, call, I think we can the, see downtown This is here. definitely not downtown, this is suburbs. No. Yeah. This is the suburbs. The, the burbs of Chicago. But, as I said, we can see the city. It looks great, it's a nice day outside. It's practically better than being downtown, because we can see downtown. Exactly. You well, ready to train some chess, man? Always ready. Yeah. It's not as if I've been, you know, shooting for two days straight. Born ready. Let's That's this. what I like. Let's go. All right, six exercises, three supersets, 50 minutes, and that's a wrap. We are done. Sean, Ooh. that was tough. That yeah. was tough. Yeah. But great. Yeah, we get it in. We get it done quick, big spot. Yeah, it's nice. It's just high intensity, man. That was awesome. That's it. Short rest period, a lot of working sets, a lot yeah. of supersets. No need for cardio today. Well, no. that, well, we, we did cardio <laughs> running between yeah. the, the machines. Yeah, apart so from me, I don't, I, don't, I don't do cardio. You do it. You do a hit, and then you lift again. Yeah. <laughs> sure, man. Great to see you, brother. Good to see you. Thank you for the workout. Oh, Always a pleasure. Thank you, uh, Thank you very much. Catching up with you. We will see you in Vegas, man. Yes, you will. Olympia, here we come. All right, Sean has bounced on out, but we ain't done yet, though. We got cardio to do, man. We're gonna hit four minutes of Tabata on the cross trainer over here. We're gonna hit 20 minutes incline walking on the treadmills over there, overlooking the skyline of Chicago. It's not gonna to be too bad. I'm looking forward to this cardio. Let's put in work. All right, finally, big swell. That's a wrap. Workout is done with Sean. Oof. Let me compose myself. Tabata is done. Yeah. Cardio is done. Now this is really cool. You guys didn't see this before, but they've got a full, this is obviously, the Optimum Nutrition BSN gym over here. They got a full post-workout, pre-workout, intra-workout supplement bar going on down here. So check this out. Got some protein on deck, some Synthesis, 6, some Platinum Hydro Way, Synthesis 6 Edge, the cooler over here, the sink over here, all the supplements you could want. Now, big swell. Yeah. Just having a quick look, mate. Is the elusive Optimum Nutrition yeah, yeah. fat burner? <laughs> I mean, it's somewhere hiding. I mean, is it hiding? I see something here with like some Japanese on it or something. It's creatine. No, no creatine, NO Explode, Mino X. And more creatine. A couple of different American flavors of NO Explode. Mino X Edge, new Mino X Edge right yeah, there. It's cool. coming to Australia real soon. Yeah. Um, it's not here. No optimum. What about BSN Test Booster? Is that there? No. No? No BSN look. Test Booster? I had a look. So we've come all the way to the other side of the world. We haven't got any answers yet. I'm sure. And we still don't have answers. I'm sure we'll have them soon. Enough. What is going on? We'll have them soon. What is going on? Well, at least you guys know that we're trying. We're trying. We're, I mean, people's company, we're doing the best. Yeah. We're here in Chicago. We came to the headquarters to try and find out this shit. It'll be here soon enough, I think. I think we, we like planted the seed and the guys are going to work on it. The seed? Yeah, they're going to water it and stuff. Uh, and uh, nurture it. Uh, and then it's going to grow into a beautiful plant. <laughs> Oh man, I'm delirious. I need some sleep. This is ridiculous. Let's get out of here, man. All right. After a long day here at Glambia HQ, BSN and Optimum Nutrition HQ. It's just, uh, what is the time? It must oh, be like eight. Well, 8. 8 p.m. So we've been here since uh, since 12, so. Eight hours. We are rolling on out. We're about to go get ourselves some post-workout gains, man. Big swell. Man, what do you I, think of uh, of today, man? Yeah, man, like an experience that you know you can't really put into perspective. Yeah. For the, uh, especially for the viewers at home, they won't really. I guess they'll get an insight to it, but it's nothing what it's really like in person to see how a, a multi, you know, would you say booing company? 
Oh, Glandia is most definitely. Yeah, yeah. you guys can look it up. They're publicly traded in Ireland. You can check yeah. that shit out. But. Multi-billion dollar company is actually run. Well, I, we've already spoken about the, the protein facility. You guys saw that. You didn't see um, a lot of the stuff, the meeting-based stuff uh, yeah. that we went through at the actual headquarters office because um, yeah, it's meetings. It's, it's, it's boring. <laughs> it's boring, and a lot of it, you know, is kind of stuff that we really can't show you guys on the video yeah. uh, for a bunch of reasons. But it is kind of, you know, it's cool to see because you have to remember as well, like Optimum Nutrition and BSA. Yeah, were both started by a couple of young guys. They were started. Optimum company. was the Costello brothers. A couple of young guys. BSM was a couple of young guys. Yeah. And they're, I think at the time they were in their early thirties. Yeah. Um, that literally started these companies from the from the ground up. Yeah. You know, very similar kind of story. People to, actually forget that because now it's so big. Yeah, and people, you know, a very similar story to to Massive Joe's to how we started. Yeah. So I mean, for us, it's really cool to see just how big these companies have become. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, the production facility, the offices, the number of employees, uh, the professionalism, all that is really, you know, quite phenomenal to see. But I think the coolest thing, because, you know, me, I've worked in, in you know, corporations before, the corporate world, before Massive Joe's, um, in like oil and gas companies. Yeah. And sometimes corporate, can get a little bit too, too corporate, corporate. Yeah. you know what I mean? But it's that's probably the coolest thing for me is to see this company that started from nothing, these companies that started from nothing, yeah. now in a building this size, the factory, you saw the size of the factory, that was one of three factories. So they've got yeah. two here, they've got one in Florida, um, you know, multiple international headquarters, and yeah. then to still keep it like the people are really cool the people are great you know they're, the people you know, are great that you know it's it's pretty much like they're like they're working in a small company yeah. we were actually greeted at yeah. the front door when we walked in yeah you know it wasn't like oh who are you guys they were actually there waiting for us yeah which but is cool the, you know the, it's the, just the passion yeah is the biggest thing it's not like they're you know just part of a, a corporation and no stuff. they actually feel like the they're part is, of a massive massive team yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Exactly, the and the other cool thing I found as well is like the majority of people actually lived. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, there was people in the yeah. gym, and you know, it's not just fat guys in well, polo, polo shirts, shirts, but all yeah, fat guys yeah, yeah. in suits sitting behind fat desks crunching in polo shirts, man. So, you know, it was it was a great experience. Yeah, very very good experience. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the rides. Yeah, uh, we're sorry we didn't get our hands on the Optimum Nutrition Fat Burner or the BSN Test Booster, but we will be sure to mention it in every single episode of Weekly. Word until, until it, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> we just gotta keep just to just give, keep grinding. Just to them. give the brothers and the and the sisters at Glambia and the great um, thing is a bunch of shit. Is they actually watch. They all actually watch all our videos. I know. So we they, walked into the, that meeting and they're like, "Look, we're just gonna be straight with you. We're gonna be straight up with you. We don't have a fat yeah, burning. Yeah, exactly. We, we don't have a test. We didn't even talk about it. <laughs> we didn't bring it up. They did. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're gonna bounce on out, man. We need to go get ourselves some post-workout gains. Mm -hmm. We need to go check into the hotel. Yeah, and we, we need, need to get some work done. And we need to get some sleep. Put it in work. Yeah, let's go. This could possibly be the best post-workout meal we have seen thus far on TMJ in the USA Big Swap. Last night was pretty good. We got ourselves probably 250 grams of steak. Well, it's, well, it's meant to be like what? I reckon. Is it 16 ounces or 12 ounces? No, nah, they never say that. Just go by go by size. I think that they're probably like 120, 125 nah, each than that, times two. Nah, they're not thick. They're not. Maybe yours are. Mine not thick. Let's go 250, 300. I'm gonna say 300, 250. Oh, big boy. Of this fillet. Oh, we got some. Oh, look at that. We got some mustard coming our way as well. A big swallow of barbecue sauce. Thank you, awesome. thank you. Thanks, man. We got a uh, baked potato, cooked dry, of course. No <laughs> butter, sour, sour cream, cream, all that bullshit. And then we got some steamed green beans with a little bit of lemon on them. Woo! Let's get it in, man. Let's get it in. Finally made it here to the hotel room. This hotel room is nice. It's very, like, cottage like. Thoughts? Mm. Laptops busted out as per usual, man. It's just before midnight. Getting our work done as we do, as we roll every night. TMJ in the USA. How are you feeling, big swole? I'm tired. I'm actually. I'm falling asleep on my computer. Well, you know, at least you at least you're putting in work, man. 
that's that's well, that's what man. It's just gonna be done. What you could do: type a couple of letters, have a quick nap. That's what I was doing before. Wake back up, type a few more letters. That's what nap. That's what you gotta do, man. Well, man, you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's a wrap for this here episode twelve. TMJ in the USA season four started in Brooklyn, New York. Finishing here in Chicago, Illinois. Tomorrow we are off to Las Vegas, Nevada for the start of the Mr. Olympia Expo, which actually starts on Friday. So we, we're getting there a day early. Well, we're getting there on Thursday so we can get ourselves settled, get ready to make the most of the Mr. Olympia weekend. It's going to be one hell of a weekend, Big Swap. Well, man, I'm, I'm like, excited I'm, for this shit. I'm just most excited because I get to spend more than two nights in it, in like the same place. Yeah, well actually, That's what I'm most excited it's, the, it's the first time that we're spending two nights really anywhere yeah. since Columbus. Really? Columbus we had two nights, no? We didn't? Florida? Mason? The two nights in Mason? There you go. Two nights in Florida? And that's it. Yeah, it's making sense now. Man. I'm just in traffic. Everything at the moment, to be honest. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching this on the mobile. Don't forget to turn the post notifications on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Girls YouTube channel. We will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for Low Intensity Steady State Cardio. You know it goes down every morning. TMJ in the USA. We're off to Vegas. You guys are coming with us. Till next time. Where we coming to and from, Swole? Massivejoes.com.